Hi everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what we do for elementary math. And um, right now I have Judah with me. <laughs> yeah. He's only four, so he doesn't really need anything yet, but he wants to join you with his brothers and he also wants to do something. So we've got these rods here and we're just going to do some little activities with them. Can you take a one, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can put it down there. And can you take another one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, how much have you got now? Two. One, and another one is? How much is that? Two. Very good. Now we're going to put another one there. How much is that? Three. Very good. Shall we put another one there? Four. Very good. Now we're going to take two away. Two. Yeah. So we had how many did we have? Four. And then we take away two is? Two. Very good. Now how many have we got now? Four. And how many are we going to take away? How many is mommy taking away from you? Three. How many have we then got left? One. So four. Take away three is? One. Very good. How many have you got there now? Five. Can you find the five block for me? Six. Yeah, that's number five, but can you find the, the five block? Is this a five? Yeah. Is this a five? No. Ooh, can you find a five for me? Is that a five? No. No. We need something a bit longer. Where is a five? <laughs> That's a five. Very good. Now, if we take away one now, how many have we got then? Four. Four. Can you find a four block for me? What is a four block? Hmm. Excellent. Now, if we take one away, how many have you got then? Three. Find a three block for me. And now we take another one away. How many have you got then? Two. And now we take one more away. We need one. That's a one. That's right. So I've got a baijiu with me. And he is eight years old. And he is going to show how we are doing MEP math. We don't use the lesson plans. There are lesson plans available, but we don't use them. And so normally I just let him read the first problem, see if he gets it, and if he gets it, then I just do it by himself. He is, he really doesn't need that much help. So we'll see how far he gets. Go ahead. Very good. As you can see, he doesn't really need do that much help. So normally I tell my oldest two to just go and do their work. And if they need me, they call for me. But we'll see how he'll get along. Yeah, it looks like you've done an excellent job. Now the next question. How many weeks and days are there in each month? And fill in the table. January, the number of days, the number of weeks, and how many extra days? So you start with just question number one. Number of days. How many days has January? 31. How many weeks does it have? Not yet. No, it's not your turn yet. Okay. How many extra days are there? So you're basically doing um, division with remainders right now, aren't you?
Oh, February. How many days does February have? Do you remember the poem? Yeah, 30 days. 28 or 29, but um, maybe it's leap year. Though. No, we'll just do without leap year. Okay, a train had carriages which could seat eight people. Three carriages were full and the fourth carriage was half full. How many passengers were on the train? The, and your calculation, don't forget to write that down. Oh. What did you do? All right, now for the last bit, practice calculation. You can do that all by yourself. Right, and I have one boy there who is reading on the Kindle. And my little one is right now napping, which will take maybe 20 minutes. He doesn't take long naps anyway. And to be honest, there's another one playing video games right now, <laughs> just to keep everyone busy. But um, yeah, normally I have them all do math at the same time. Uh, but I just felt right now it would be a bit too chaotic to have everyone doing math at the same time and filming that. So I decided to spread them out a little bit. Very good. And now we go to the back. And here we've got our Saxon speed drills. We tried Saxon for a while and it didn't work. Um, we don't do this by time really, we just work our way through the problems one sheet no, per day. Want. Hello buddy! No, I don't want it. What do you, you don't want it anymore, you want a different game? Yeah. Oh dear. Interruptions, thank you! <laughs> That's part of homeschool life. <laughs> they need help. Excellent, you're done, you've okay. got them all right. Yay, well done. It's your turn to go video gaming. Huh? <laughs> Special treat today. So that took about 15, 20 minutes. That's really all it takes in a day, unless they have a bit of an attitude problem. <laughs> so um, here I've got my second son, Ruben's binder ready. And in here I have both Miquan um, I've got them ripped out from out of their books so that I can put them in this binder. Um, Miquan is a very hands-on program and you use a lot of these rods with it. These are really great with any program. I really recommend these. But um, So he has Miquan in here, but he's also got MEP. So basically he does two full math curriculums at the moment because um, he really, really, really likes um, math. So we're going to do this page today and we'll do a bit of MEP and we'll show you how we do it. Come, sit down buddy. Uh, so, it says if this block is 1, if that block is 1, then what is this one? That's easy. 2! Yeah, write it in there. Too easy. Too easy. And then what is this block? <laughs> You might have to check to see what length it is, right? <coughs> no, that's too long, isn't it? It doesn't four. fit. It's definitely a four. See? And that block is a four. All right, let's keep those actually, because we'll need them again. Whoops. Okay. All right, now it says, if my name is one, this is a one now. Now, what is my name? Zero. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but it's that small. That's good. No, because it is something, right? It's not nothing. This is a one. Then what's that? Uh huh. No, no. Here, write it down here. That's his name. Put it in the block. Should we put down half there? Yeah. <laughs> his name is one. His name is half. <laughs> Very good. That's half. 
and this is one, then this is. Then what is two. this? Two, because it's double <laughs> as big as that one. So if this is a one, then that's a two. Very good. Excellent. Now, if this is one, this is one, then what is that one? Half. That is half. Yeah, that's right. That's half of this one. One out of two. We chop it into two bits. And that's one out of those two. Then what is this one? Yeah. What is this one of this one? And how many bits do you need to chop this to get that? Four. So that is, what's his name? A four? Yeah, one four. What the hell do you one say? One fourth. One fourth, that's right. Excellent. Okay, it says fill in the missing numbers. You know how to do it. 26 plus 7 is the same as 41 take away how much? Now, what do you have to do first? What 26 plus 7. 26 plus 7. First, I have to calculate how much that, how much that is. No. Okay, you write it a little small on top there. Just write it on top there. Okay. Just so that we can remember it. Okay. And now, 41 take away something is also 33. <laughs> so you're thinking face. <laughs> yeah, excellent. <laughs> All right, the next problem. Can you do that all by yourself, you think? Very good. And now, something plus five is also 54. 49. Excellent. Okay, we've got some more fractions here. And those circles are there to help you. Can you read it for me? Can you read it to me? Half plus half is <laughs> one. Okay. Two times half is one. <laughs> okay. Half plus half plus half plus half is two. <laughs> half plus half plus half plus half plus half plus half. How much is that? How many halves, how many holes have you got? Three. Very good. Or you could say six times a half. Is three. Well done. Ooh, that's a bit harder. Now we have One a... and a half. Well, that's not harder, I think. Okay, well done. Brilliant. <laughs> but how do I write that down? A one and then a half. One and a half. So one and then half. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Three times the half. <laughs> Just the same. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now five times a half. Excellent. Now you know how to write that down as well. Okay, <laughs> 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 can you give me the table of four, please? One time. One times four is four. Two times four is eight. Three times four is twelve. 
four times four is oh. <laughs> you can do sixteen. It. Five times four is twenty. Six times four is twenty-four. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Eight times four is thirty-two. Okay, can you skip count? From zero all the way up to twenty-one by threes. Zero, three. Zero. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> ho ho. <laughs> okay, you're done. <coughs> you're done. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> So we're done with that. That also just took like 15 minutes in all, so it really doesn't take long. And if it does take long, if they get to a harder subject, I just um, I just let them do half a lesson or less than that, even if they're really struggling at one point, if they're learning a new concept. So, um, yeah. So in about, let me see, Judah the third, the, the third one, he, that took like three to five minutes, so that's really short. Uh, I don't want to do anything more with him than that and he loves it so uh, as long as he loves it I'm happy to do that and with the other two it just takes both of them maybe 15 minutes max um, well except for some days when they have a bad attitude it might take a bit longer because then they just have to finish their lesson until they're done but overall just uh, a short lesson and I feel that um, by keeping it short they have their attention still focused on their math and just gives better results than if I just give them an hour's worth of work and they hate it and they're just struggling to uh, to get through it and you know they just don't do their best so whether well, it's 50 minutes they do their best they get it done and over with and they like it so that was my day with math I hope you liked it bye <laughs>